Hi, I'm Rob Lloyd from The Con Artist, and would you like to introduce yourself to everyone on the internet? Everyone on the internet everyone. at the same time? Yep. Oh, I'm Chris McLennan, I'm from, the, I'm from the New Melbourne Brown Coats. Now, tell us, what is the New Melbourne Brown Coats? Okay, uh, we started as a Joss Whedon Firefly fan group, and we then became incorporated as a non-for-profit, and yeah, that's pretty much us. We're a social group, and we raise money for charity, all sorts of charities, and have a lot of fun doing it. Wonderful stuff. Now, what charities are you supporting this year? Where? Oh, in in Melbourne in particular. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this weekend we're at Melbourne Supernova. Uh, we support at these uh, events, uh, drawing a blank, and I'll get it back. Give me a second. Uh, Fair Share and uh, Fitted for Work. So, Fair Share uh, provide meals for low-income families and homeless people, and Fitted for Work is all about providing women with clothing and resources to get jobs so to get back into the workforce so they don't need support of things like fair share um this year we're also doing our main charity event so we're also raising money for the global charity equality now and this year we've taken on wire as a support charity as well now what's uh what's your big uh fundraising event for this year uh, our main fundraising event is in August. Uh, we've still got to like lock everything in and get all the little nitty gritty details sorted out, but it's our big screening of Serenity. Now you guys do that every year, don't you? Yep. Uh, we've run in Melbourne uh, for eight years out of the 10 that it's run, and this is the 11th year running, so. And that's, you can't stop the Serenity? Is that the can't name of the- Stop the Serenity. That's the name of the big event. It happens all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, so, uh, how many how many of these conventions uh, have you been to as as the Brown Coats? Lost count. Okay, I was in Adelaide last weekend. I'm here this weekend. I know I'm doing uh, Melbourne Oz Comic Con. Uh, I know I'm doing Brisbane Oz Comic Con. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure there's more conventions in there. And how, um, and what's the main purpose of doing uh, conventions? Is it is it getting the name out there? Is it socialising? Is it is it is it just it's it's more like a tradition that you can't stop doing it and you just keep going? Well, for me, it's very much a social thing. Like, I love going to these conventions. I know so many people at these conventions now. They're great fun for me. But for the booth and what we sell, everything we raise goes to the our two nominated charities, which is equality, uh, Fair Share and Fitted for Work. That's brilliant. Um, now, uh, what is it about you know the Firefly universe and you know the the world of Serenity that really you know speaks to you? Um, it grabs me in a way like Star Wars does in in that that's a possibility. Like, I look at Star Trek and I'm like, everything's amazing. I can never see humanity getting to there. I just can't. If I think, where's the world going to be in 500 years time? I go, maybe, maybe Joss has got it. With Maybe we'll be traveling to other planets. Maybe some parts of the world are going to be great. I don't feel like it's all going to be roses. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but... Well, I think that's a pretty accurate representation of the world. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Um, now, do you think Firefly has, and, and the world of Serenity, has carried on for so long just because there's so little of it out there for us and so the imagination has grown? Do you think it would still have the same impact if we got seven seasons or six seasons in a movie or if we got everything we wanted? You know, I think about this a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I think about this a lot. I think the show had so much potential, it could have run 10 seasons without trying because the universe that it was set in and the, and the stories that could be told on those worlds was huge. Like The yeah. scope for what they could have done. But at what point could they have done amazing stuff and then things go bad? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And in a way... It depresses me that we only got one season. Yeah. But we did get one really good season. A very, We're very good. We're never going to have that disappointment 
after six or eight seasons of going, oh, guy, guys, no. People going, oh, oh, do we have, having a marathon going, okay, we've just got to all sit down and endure season 22, 24 episodes of crap, but we have to do it. Like, I love Supernatural. Like, the first couple of seasons of Supernatural. I love that show. It's amazing. <laughs> now? Yeah. Like, still carrying on the goodwill of those early seasons. Like, it, and it's still a good show. Yeah. But would it have been better if, if they went, here's six seasons of story we want to tell, that's it. Get in and get out. Now, uh, to finish off, now you've got a big, uh, you've got a trivia night, is that right? Tell oh, us yeah. about that. So I, got, I got the card. You got the card, card. well, hang on. This is all so you can read from it, and I'll show the image there. Right, We're so working well. as a team. It's teamwork, yeah. <laughs> this is new. Uh, yeah, 21st of May, we've got a trivia night, uh, limited to 50 uh, people. So uh, you can buy tickets online for this. Um, all the funds we raise from this trivia night is going to WIRE. Now, you might not know what WIRE is. They're very much a local sort of charity in Melbourne, but they run a domestic abuse hotline. They run women's shelters. Um, they do some really good work. Most of their funding is done through government grants. Um, with a very small amount of funding that comes from private people or private donations. Well, hopefully these so, guys are going to get a lot of the um, the extra funding that's yeah. been boosted by the Victorian government, which is great. Yeah, I mean, we really hope so for them and for the services they provide. They also work with inter, uh, interstate groups as well. So if someone has a problem in Victoria and moves to New South Wales, they have connections in other states. Oh, good. So they're not, once they leave Victoria, they're, they're on right. their own. Yeah. Um, we contacted them uh, last week to go, hey, look, we're thinking about doing this. Can we raise money for you? And they were very, very enthusiastic and very excited about it to the point of going, you need to tell us when your event is because we want to book tickets. Awesome. So if you want tickets, get in quick. Because I've got a feeling these might go pretty quick <laughs> and that's going to be great for us. So where's it being run at? Uh, hold on. I'm not organising this, so mm -hmm. it's at the Alchemist Refuge, so I believe that's next to Games Laboratory. Yep, 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 uh, that's right, yep. Uh, 328 Little Lonsdale Street. Games Lab guys, they're great guys, so check them out as well. Um, but yeah, all the money we're raising from this is going to Wired. We're probably going to have raffles and maybe some auction items. Stuff. I don't know. Just rock up. It's going to be a good night, it, if nothing else, and if we've got some great stuff, it's going to be a good night with awesome stuff. Get on there, guys. Support it. Chris, thank you so much for your time. All the best. This has been The Con Artist. This is Chris from uh, Melbourne, new Melbourne Browncoats. Have a great time. Have a good one, guys. Catch you later.